I keep seeing it in the comments. I get people that are Greek Orthodox or some kind of Orthodox thing or whatever, and they say, you need to look into the Orthodox Church. And, and I've always just held to the thing that Orthodox and Catholic are basically two sides of the same coin. They're both groups that add to the scriptures. Uh, they have their church buildings and their icons and their special little uniforms that they wear and whatever else. But I saw this thing, Father Moses, come up, and I thought, okay, just saw the thing and clicked on it. And it says the same thing that the Satanic Roman Catholics say. Listen to this. And yet they are the two most important aspects of masculinity. First, man was not created to be a man. Man was created to be a God-man. Man was created to be a God-man. Uh, yeah, okay, that's such an obvious one that you hear somebody say that and you just say, uh, not, there's no scripture for that. Go to Genesis chapter 3. Um... Verse 5, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, that your eye, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Um, and oh, well, the, But the scriptures say that ye are gods. Uh, yeah, Jesus, or the, that scripture is talking about angels. That people are worshiping these angels as gods. Again, I've talked about that. Uh, we'll listen to a little bit more what he has to say here, but just such an obvious thing. Uh, no is the answer to that. Continue. God was man was created to be a god, lowercase g. No scripture. It, again, anybody tells you something like that, say, hey, let, you know, turn in your Bible. Let me let me uh, get your Bible out. Get your Bible out, and I want you to turn with me to this verse here, and I want you to to look where it says man was created to be a lowercase g god. Whenever they don't hold up a Bible and tell you to turn in the Bible, don't trust them. Okay. Well, but but the, the teachings of our church, the teachings of church father so and so and father so and so, and you after all just laity. I have a special uniform on, and a necklace too. You have to have the necklace. Not uppercase G. We never participate in the essence of God, but we were the essence of God. Uh, where's that at? Oh yeah, divine essence. That's right. Girls' perfume. Yeah, your God wears girls' perfume. Whatever, <laughs> Trinitarian nonsense created in his image to grow into his likeness i often use this analogy that if you look at my sons my sons are in my image they look like me they, they have the same nose as i do they have little round faces like i do but it doesn't mean that they're grown into my likeness um no image and likeness are kind of synonymous you know so We'll just stop it there. I'm not going to continue on here. just want to keep this video short. But uh, if you want to know the Catholic teaching on this whole thing, I will show you from Catholic sources, multiple Catholic sources in this video. You can see me holding them up right there. Go through the time stamps and different things here. Uh, there again, you see the catechism. I'm holding it up. You're I'm using Roman Catholic sources. And so apparently the uh, Greek Orthodox here, they teach the same thing. And I actually saw there was another Greek Orthodox guy, and he had a, a video and was saying the same thing as well. So didn't need to include all of it, but just wanted to put that out there. There's very little difference when you get right down to it between the Greek Orthodox and the Roman Catholics. Uh, the Texas Receptus comes from, was preserved through a lot of the Greek Orthodox system, but then Codex Sinaiticus was also a you know, plot within the Greek Orthodox system, some of the priests there and things, Simonides, Constantine Simonides, to come out and say, uh, we're going to replace the King James Bible, the Texas Receptus that underlies the King James Bible. So uh, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two. And of course they would say, oh yes, there is and whatever. Oh, then okay, why are your, you know, patriarch going and meeting with the Pope and things that it's just a bunch of stupid nuts wearing outfits and having big church buildings with icons and all the other unscriptural stuff that Jesus Christ never told them to do. All right. Watch out for any man that does not tell you to turn in your Bible. All right. Pick up a Bible and turn in it. Read the scriptures. The scriptures are the final authority, not man. Never forget that.